Welcome to the Account Solutions. This channel is dedicated to bring you solutions to your everyday tasks in areas of bookkeeping, business administration, accounting and taxation. If you like what you're doing here, kindly click on the subscription button and support us. Enjoy the rest of this tutorial. Welcome to the Account Solutions. On this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use our updated point of sale system on Excel. Um, some years back, we designed a point of sale system with Microsoft Excel, and um, we've done some updates on the template. So, I'll be sharing with you two versions of the update. The first version is the template where you make your sales with your barcodes, that's the product codes. Just use your barcode scanner and scan. The product code to either receive your inventory or make sales second one is the one you make sale by product names that means you just select from the drop down in case you don't have barcodes in um, your business you don't use barcodes to make sales you just select the product names and you make sales so whatever works for you you have the choice to choose between the p codes version 2 or the p names version 2 and they both do the same thing just that here you have to use the barcode scanner or you type in the product code on the excel cell to generate um, your sales receipt go we'll dive into excel now and i'll demonstrate quickly how to use this updated template when you open the excel file this um, user form will pop up all you need to do is to click on login then you enter the username let's use demo space admin and no more space if you put a space here it won't accept the login so ensure you don't have trailing space after the admin then your passcode two three four five six seven login welcome back demo admin okay so we have this sheet now for admin what you need to do is to click on activate admin the essence is to open up all the excel sheets in this workbook if you don't do this you may not be able to navigate through some excel um, worksheets so what is doing now is opening up all the excel worksheet in this workbook so we are here on the user interface so I explained the user interface is similar to what you already have in the old version. So these tabs on hash are for you to set up your product and account centers. If you want to add a new product, just click on this. Type the product code here if you have, or you use a barcode scanner to just scan here. So that's it you scan it and type the product name the cost of the product selling price select your product group select your product center and then you post to add a new product group or product center just click on this icon new product group type the product group you can have product group as toys toys all the toys you group them under one group and call it toys you can have a new product center you can have different product center under toys toys could be under other items or other um uh, beverages could be under provision so your product center is provision product group beverages then the product milk milo you know all the um, beverages under you know, provisions you could also have product center as clothing as a product center under clothing you have a product groups for men's wear ladies wear children's wear you know boys girls wear these are all product groups so we have the product group and product center so you can have a new product center let's call them provisions we have a new product group we have beverages um, toiletries 
you now have the new product. So when you set up your product, you need to select a product group and a product center. We also have a new partner. You can add a new partner. Partner could be a customer or a supplier or a staff or an admin person. Put the address and the details. Just type the um, customer or the vendor's name here and select position. The old one, you have to put a number, but this one doesn't have a number. You can have a new account chart. Just type the account code, account name, select the sub account, account class, and the report type. Alright, so you can also have a sub account, a new sub account. Now, um, we have sales point. Sales point could be maybe you have a spam, an outlet where you want a supermarket, you want a car wash, you want a um, a barbecue joint, you know, all in that outlet, and you are you are keying data from the same um, application, then you can just set up your sales point here. You can call one supermarket, pastries, art shop, um, barbecue joint, you know, you can just type in that sales point here. It enables you to, you know, have a proper reporting system to know which of these sales points is generating more of the sales on a daily basis. Now we have the user interface, which is similar to what you have already on the old version so i recommend you look check out the link below this video and see the two videos we've done before on this same template there is no difference in terms of outlook and what it does but just to show you the updated version now here we want to receive product or sell you don't use your barcode or type any code you just scroll down and select from the list of the items just pick a, um, a product and you can sell from here so every other thing is the same with what you already have you know in the old templates just look at the video again but everything is the same just select as much as you want to select and you can sell from here so for those that don't have barcode scanners or don't have product codes you can select from this list of products and you just put the quantity here type the amount that was paid mode of payment then collection account which account did you go to then you just post so that is all about um, this new interface so let me show you also the reporting for reporting we have a dashboard all you need to do is just to click on this refresh dashboard and to populate this chart here we also have we have the ledgers all you need to do is to define the criteria to filter all these cells here are different criteria you can filter by date typing the date here you can filter by the party's name that the customer or vendor you can filter by description that sales purchases you can type the month or the year and generate to so filter down from your report the your database will filter down this report for you we also have the sales book this is a pivot table all you need to do is to click on this refresh it will update this table they want to use these slicers to filter this report click on open slicers you can now filter based on product center you can filter based on product group you can also filter straight to the product name so just click on drinks you will see all your sales for that day for drinks clear this funnel to clear filter okay click on baby girls wears you see what was sold clear this funnel this um, red um, x to clear your filter back to interface we have your purchase book the same thing you can also is a private table is a private table you can just refresh to upload the data and also open slicers to use these slicers here to filter down this report based on what you want to filter we also have transactions you want to audit the um, various items you've put into the database you can filter with these five criteria you can filter by only date or date plus product group you can filter by date product group and transactions you can filter by all of them just pick out what you want to filter pick them out you know pick them out just pick you want to filter by product yourself and click generate generate all the product for you if you click if you, if you click generate here without filtering it will give you all the 
um, items you've posted both for purchases and for sales and you will see everything your database will populate here actually go through it to see if there are any errors or anything um, you've omitted from your posting you can just clear this to you know cl clear out those filters also have the account the account is ag aggregate of your purchases and your sales it does not give you details of the purchases just aggregate them into you know lump sums amount due from purchases amount you've paid amount due from sales amount received is that what you get from your sales um, database it populates here into the account we have the reconciliation here to reconcile your bank statement with total amount of sales from pols total amount of sales by transfer if you have cash and um, check they will all populate in this slicer here under mode of payment you can reconcile your banks by clicking on any of these banks and by any of these date to check total number of pos you want to reconcile the receipt printed with what they've posted you can use this particular sheet to reconcile all of that they also have your weekly report this is weekly cash report here you can select the list of your your sales point to know the total number of sales coming in from this point so you now have just type in the date the first date of the week i have 18th of july which is a sunday and to populate all the other days of the week and give you a week total also have for purchases what you can populate you can get anything you spent from here once you've posted it here you have your total net cash flow for every day for that week so have monthly cash report which gives you the same thing with the weekly report gives you six months plan this six, six months um, cash report just type in the first month here for that month to populate you have your your your, your cash report for the supermarket and your purchases you can type in your opening cash balance here and it gives you your cash flow for six months you know when you use this thing. and we have the reports the report is just um different um, views of the same report we have your current stock level so here you will see all your product and their current stock level here you see total purchase and sales purchases quantity total sales for july so each month will keep you know giving you the aggregate for that month you have total payment and receipt you can see we purchase item of 38 million we've only paid about you know um, 12 million or thereabouts so you can just see all the items populate here we now have the same thing this is detailed report by product group and the product name the month year and um we have your grand total so every month in august august column will appear here it will have the same to continue like that until the end of the year your grand total from all sales from all these particular product items so that's all um, about the updates finally i'll just show you how to add an admin or a new user so to set up new admin or staff user just click on admin so to bring you to this sheet then click on admin edit so you can add a new admin just type the staff the, the staff name then you just put the password password should be in numbers please numbers only for password observe your case is very important and you add you can add you can edit an admin just type in admin name and you know generate data if i put demo admin you can just edit the password here if you want to you can also add a new user type the staff name then put the password in numbers again then you select the sheet you want the staff to access just you can give the sheet the staff to access the report user interface the weekly cash report and maybe the consolation so you can just choose which of the excel sheet you want the staff to access now admins have access to all the sheets but the staff um, users only access the sheet that you assign to them then you add if you want to edit a user just type the serial number say number two what's number one get data you will see this demo user the password this is the sheet that are assigned to this particular demo user okay you can actually edit this uh, sheet and you save so that's how you you know add a new user or remove a user you know give them password and assign sheets to them just close this user form 
go back to your dash to your dashboard that you're using interface just click on activate admin to take you back to your user interface so you have all you need here so before we end let me also show you the other template the one i mentioned that you sell with your barcode scan so this is the other version where you use your product code to sell the only difference here is that there's an extra column for product name the first column we had before for product name is now for product code so you can select the list of codes here unlike the other version where you have list of product any code you select you will see the um, product name will appear on this column however you can't just be going through code um, the um, rules to select a product code so here where you need your barcode scanner or you manually type in the code if the code is not in the system no product will appear here so i just take my barcode scanner and i'll scan some product code for us so i have my barcode scanner i'll put the cursor on this cell here and i will scan so you can see the product is electric juice extractor user machine that is the name of the product on the cell so that is how you you know capture your product so this template works only with your um, codes either you use a barcode scanner or you manually type in the um, product code here the same thing will happen for um, the template so there's no difference in terms of operation in terms of reports in terms of capturing your data the only difference is that instead of selecting the product list here you now use your barcode scanner or you type in your product code and to populate the product name um, for me this is the better option you don't have to be scrolling down to look for a product name select just uh, put the um, product put your cursor here and scan your the same thing here under sale or return basis put your cursor, cursor there and you scan your product um, some of the updates we've done on this template if you want to see the full details of how to use the template and the functionalities the video link is below this video you will see how to use the template you can actually print your receipt from here and also post these transactions to your database i can email if you need this template you can just send us an email the email is below this video send us an email will send you these practice files for you to um, work around it post your product see how it works you know then see if it's what you need to manage your small retail shops or your stores thank you very much for coming and bye